Hey guys, I'm Rev199, and today I'm going to be coming at you with another gameplay commentary type thing. I'm not going to be talking about the gameplay too much, just like the last video. I'm going to be talking about different things, and in case you're wondering, my voice is not going to be like this the whole time. It's going to be changing up a little bit. <laughs> hey baby girl, come here. Alright, and for all you blind people out there, this map is called Karachi, I'm playing Free For All, this game is called Modern Warfare 2, and you are on YouTube. So, today I, like I said, with my warped voice, I'm not going to be talking about the gameplay too much, uh, just like the last video. I'm going to be uh, reviewing some of the random things that I have on my desk for you guys, so you know whether to purchase them or not, in case you're wondering. So, uh, let's get started then, right? Oh yeah, by the way, I, uh, got a new app on my iPhone. Uh, it's called... I don't know what it's called, but it changes your voice to different things. Uh, so I'm probably going to use that a little bit. I uh, just change my voice up. So, if that annoys you, then just turn off the video right now. Because I'm going to be doing videos. So, you know. Mr. Talker Sloss did 4, hit him up. And Brian Dockey. Creative name, right? No, not at all. But hit them up and check out their videos. It'll make me very happy. If you subscribe to them, subscribe to me because that's just not fair if you don't. Is that gay? Alright, guys, the first thing I'm going to review for you guys today is the Otterbox Defender case for the iPhone 4. It's a pretty swagged out case. It is pretty bulky, actually. Kind of like having a brick in your pants at all times. Um, but if you drop your phone a lot, or if you're like, if you have like muscle spasms or something and randomly throw your phone out of nowhere, then this is the case for you. Alright, next I'm going to review for you guys is a wooden ruler that I have right here on my desk. Uh, I don't see a brand name on this, so I don't know what kind of ruler it is, but I don't recommend it because it's wooden and the end of it is kind of broken off and it has splinters in it. And every time I measure something, I get splinters in my arm. And it's not enjoyable, so I don't recommend this ruler at all. Haha, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but uh, I just find that was very funny. I don't know about you guys, but I like that one. Uh, next thing I'm gonna, re I'm gonna review, uh, sunflower seeds. Got some sunflower seeds right here. And, uh, the one I have are called, uh, giant, giant seeds, I guess, I don't know. They're in a blue bag, and they're, the flavor is called salt and pepper. It's probably the best flavor of seeds you're ever going to have in your life. Like, I, I, wow, they're good. Um, I also like original, if you're, like, a normal original plain kind of person, then original is always good, you know, uh, barbecue is always really good, I hate ranch, oh god, it's disgusting, ew, no, um, nacho cheese is, uh, I guess nacho cheese is okay, dill pickle is probably the most disgusting thing I've ever tasted in my life, that is like the worst possible flavor you can get for seeds, dill pickle, do not, don't, don't even try it, like, don't even, alright, so you guys, okay, hey, I heard in my friend's video on YouTube that, Dill pickle seeds are bad, so I'm gonna go try them. No, don't. Don't do it. They're bad. Um, sizzle and bacon seeds, they are they sound nasty, and they are nasty. Trust me, they're not good. Uh, some people like them, but not me, so I don't recommend those. Alright, so getting off of seeds, because you guys probably don't care at all. Um, got some duct tape. Duct tape's pretty cool, because I have different colors. Is that gay? So yeah, duct tape is pretty handy for almost anything, really. I mean, name it. You can do it with duct tape. I'm pretty sure. All right. Um, next thing I'm gonna review: candy bars. All right, here we go. This is gonna be a long conversation, so get ready. Is that gay? Uh, I have three different candy bars right now on my desk. I'm probably gonna eat one by the end of this video. Maybe. Not sure yet. Um, the ones I have on my desk right now, one's a Three Musketeers, is that gay? one is a Snickers, and the other one's a Twix. Now, everyone knows that Snickers are, like, universally loved by everyone. Everyone likes Snickers. You can't, it's, it's a really good candy bar, guys. Um, can't go wrong with Snickers. I'm not a huge fan of Three Musketeers, just because it's gay. Um, Alright, a Snickers is basically a Three Musketeers on steroids smoking weed, because it's that good. 
Um, Twix is like the king of candy bars, in my opinion, because it's just so perfect with the chocolate and the caramel and the co Oh, wow. Mm. I'm going to eat that one, guys. I'm going to eat Twix, in case you're wondering. The segment of the Army of One Nine Nine video has been sponsored by Ford Motor Company. Go buy a Ford. If you're watching this video, I told you to. My next thing I'm going to review for you guys is this um, whiteout right here on my desk. It's called Bic Whiteout, and it is fast dry, which is very useful. Um, if you use pens a lot, then you're going to want to get some whiteout, just because it's probably a good thing to invest in, because you're probably going to make mistakes unless you're perfect like me. <laughs> just kidding, guys. I'm not perfect. Um, yeah, so whiteout. It's pretty good whiteout, I guess. Pretty high-quality stuff. Probably imported from China. Uh, probably poisonous. I don't know. Don't want to try it. Next thing I'm going to review is this stapler over here on the right. This is a very, very nice stapler. Very high quality, well built plastic um, stapler. Comes with some refill staples, which is very nice. Very nice of them to include those. You don't have to buy them yourself. Um, it staples. I don't know. I've only ever tried to staple like four or five staple things together at the same time but I'm sure it goes higher than that because most staplers do oh alright here's a good one I got some headphones right here they're called uh, skull candy in earbuds I guess is what they're called um, pretty nice sound quality they only cost me 40 bucks so you're not going to expect the best sound quality but they're good for what they cost uh, I definitely recommend skull candy for headphones I love 